Thanks Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Today we're gonna find out who the real champion really is. Japanese Wagyu A5 or this extremely exotic meat? This is the battle of the best of the best. So let's do it. If you are new in my channel, welcome. But if you've been watching me for a while, you know exactly what this is. It is a Japanese Wagyu A5 Kobe beef. To be specific, marbling score 12. The highest grading of beef you can find. Until today, nothing else came close. One of the reasons Kobe beef is so expensive is because the way it's raised. They are not only taken care of extremely well, their diet is phenomenal. Some say that they even give them beer and sing to them. And even though they do that on some Japanese farms, most of them don't get that kind of treatment. However, treatment is just not enough. Genetics is also extremely important. That is how the Japanese figured this out. And let's be honest, it is the best of the best. Trust me on this one. As long as you're getting the real deal. If your supplier does not have a golden statue like this, or even certifications, trust me, you're not getting the real deal. These things are required. Because if there's one thing out there in this world, it's fakes. So make sure if you're paying top dollar, you get the quality needed. Now let's talk about today's challenger. I can honestly say if there's anything ever close to come to a Japanese Wagyu A5 is this. You see, this is called Iberico Secreto. And just like a Wagyu cow, this one is taken care extremely well. Their diet mainly consists of acorn. And that is why it has a unique flavor. And most importantly, the genetics. And just to make it official, let me show you exactly where it comes from. Yep, that part right there. That is why it doesn't look so much like a steak. Whenever they're doing the butchering, they have to work this out in order to look good. But hey, unlike a Japanese Wagyu A5, this is not for looks, but it is for flavor. But now that you understand both of our contestants, it's time to get them ready. And here's how I like to prepare them. Just opening up a package of Iberico Secreto is an experience by itself. And like I mentioned previously, it's not the best looking piece of meat. But hold on to your comments, because you're gonna see how flavorful this thing actually is. And by the looks of this intro muscular fat you already know is gonna be great. Now can you beat a Japanese Wagyu A5? Well we're gonna find out right now. Because to season them I kept exactly the same. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. And regardless of what kind of meat you seasoned make sure to do it properly. And never forget to season both sides. As you can see I seasoned both of them exactly the same. That way the only real change is the flavor. And I cannot wait to determine which one is gonna be best. At the same time these are very rich pieces of meat. So I wanna ahead and made an incredible side dish to go along with it. And who does not love mashed potatoes with meat? This one is super easy but at the same time very creamy. Let me show you. The first thing to do is to melt a full stick of butter. Then throw in about 3 tablespoons of shallots. Mix everything well because you don't want them to brown up. Throw in some garlic paste and mix it well. After boiling my gold potatoes I like to run them through a ricer. This will get them nice and fluffy and most important I won't have any lumps. Now throw in that garlic butter shallot mix that we just made followed by a good amount of cream cheese, a little bit of whole milk, don't forget salt and white pepper. Mix everything together and combine those ingredients. To have a nice presentation I highly recommend throwing it in a nice container like this. Make sure you leave little dimples on the top because then you want to throw in a little bit of black pepper and smoked paprika for coloring. Throw it in your oven to crispen up because in the end you should be left with something like this. To finish it up just add a little bit of butter and parsley. Now that is an easy mashed potato and perfect to go along with our meats. Talking about that the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. The first thing I'm gonna do is to put a nice sear on both of them. Once that's done I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit for the Wagyu. The pork in the other hand I'm cooking it all the way up to 145 because the only thing left to do now is to get them cooking. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill them so let's do it. Didn't that look good? Oh, wait a second. What do we have here? What's up, little hunk spot? How you doing? Here, go fetch. 
Well, here's that it. Let me talk to you about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. You know that I'm a huge fan of this game, but today I want to take a moment to talk about my favorite super tough content, the Doom Tower. This huge tower is basically a giant prison. So not long after the Arbiter was created, she fought a ton of horrible monsters created by Cyrus. But she wasn't a god herself, so killing them was out of the picture. Instead, she built this magic tower and stuffed it with a bunch of sinister monsters. It worked out for a long time, but now the Cyrus is leaking back into the world. The Doom Tower isn't holding them together like it used to. So our job is to go inside and take care of some of these bosses for good. I don't know about you, but I'm not waiting around to find out what happens if the Doom Tower shall fail. So I always make sure to fight my way up every month, taking out every enemy I can along the way. Something I really like about this game is the awesome graphics. Oh, what's up, little buddy? Thanks. Going into this PvP arena, it almost feels like you are right in the middle of the action. And this month, Raid's got a lot of special events, including a gem-packed Halloween lined up towards the end of the month, big rewards, tournaments against other players, special fragments events to get some brand new legendary champions, including one very spooky Halloween champion and more. So yeah, they are bigger and better than ever and they have some huge updates coming very soon. So don't wait to get started. All you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you're gonna get an epic hero Chanuro who is amazing for the Doom Tower, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refuel and 1 nation shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. But now now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks, a little bit of side dish. Yes, there was a little problem. There's more people in the house today. They had to try it before. <laughs> I got Profe here. Welcome to my house. Thank you very much, Julia. We did a video together. We went to Austin, Texas, and we tried some incredible barbecue. If you guys do not know Profe's channel, I'm gonna put it on the link in the description down below. Make sure you check it out. Oh, awesome thank barbecue. Thank you very much, Julia. Very good. It's a, it's a pleasure to me being here. Absolutely. It's like a dream and, and an honor. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's and, good. And it looks like you're part of the team now, Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. Forget about his channel. He's gonna stay in Google Foods forever. Okay. He's with us now. <laughs> that's my house now. Yeah, that's right. That was it. Now He's with us. <laughs> he came all the way from Chile to meet with us, so it's gonna be a great experience. And I cooked something very special. You guys already know, but they don't know. So here we have Kobe beef, all right? This one is Kobe beef, and this one is Iberico Secreto. Did you ever try this before, Profe? No. Never tried, never. your first time, very no. good. The, the Kobe beef one. You try it once, okay? Yeah, at the Kobe beef gallery in Japan. Did you like yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, good. Really good. <laughs> I never tried it at a barbecue. No, never. So they cooked it on the on the flat top. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. On the grill, it should taste a little bit different. I think so. Charcoal makes everything better, everybody. Uh, I, I'm <laughs> absolutely with you. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, so here's the deal. To clean our palates, we got a little bit of mashed potatoes. Okay. This is some garlicky mashed potatoes that I made for oh, all I of us. Garlic. Okay, very good. So we got the mashed potato. I say, which one would you like to go first, Profe? Kobe beef. Kobe beef. Because yeah, he's smart. <laughs> <laughs> because I never tried that. Yeah. All right, let's go for it. All right, let's try the Kobe. Grab a piece, please. It's a perfect medium rare, eh? Perfect medium rare, exactly. You know something about it. Ah, yeah. ah. <laughs> medium rare is better, everybody. Always better. All right, Kobe beef. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> mm. Just like I remember. It never <laughs> gets old. <laughs> mm. What do you think, brother? It's like je jelly. Just like jelly? Mm. <laughs> at, at barbecue, it's really better yeah, yeah i know right on the charcoal mm. makes everything better the flavor is so intense ah. <laughs> <laughs> profi is in heaven everybody <laughs> just salt and pepper no salt pepper and a little bit of garlic powder okay yeah very little garlic powder maybe i know a lot of you might say why did you put garlic powder because we want to keep it even right so this one right here it needs a little bit of garlic powder so i put it on the japanese wagyu a5 as well listen if somebody tells you that they don't like wagyu they are lying to you i promise you don't trust him but at the same time it's very rich and you can have only a little bit right profe oh no you can have a lot <laughs> me and profe are on the same page i can keep going mm, try the mashed potato let me know I, I had half of it without the mashed potatoes and the other half with the mashed potatoes mm. it goes really good Ooh. with the mashed potatoes wow it's re really soft really creamy right yeah. really soft really and creamy. creamy you when i say we got a lot of people i say all the time we got my brother <laughs> emilio right here in the house with us we tried it a little bit how do you like mashed potato emilio it's the best <laughs> i always wanted to try it ah, there, there you go, go. <laughs> okay wagyu a5 very good wagyu let's try good. the secreto go I'm for ready. it i'm okay. ready for it. go for it i had it angel had it Profe, this is your first time? Yes, sir. My Very good. Time. Well, let's try and find out how it tastes. Okay. Cheers, everybody. 
Mm. Wow. This is like the best. <laughs> that's, that's all you can say. That's not pork. <laughs> that's not pork. No, you're, lying to me. you're lying to me. That's what I say to most people that try this for the very first time. It eats like a steak. Yeah. Right, Better, better, better than, than a steak? Yeah. <laughs> mm. It has a very different flavor than regular pork. If you've never tried it, you have to experience it. I've always said that Iberico tastes to me like, it tastes like pork grinds a little bit, but it feels like a steak. It tastes like a chicharron, mm -hmm. but it feels like a Kobe beef. Exactly, like super mouth. tender. When I say it eats like a steak, I'm talking about like the texture. Yeah, but the flavor is more intense. Oh yeah, which one is more flavorful? This one. This, this one. <laughs> he didn't even, ask, <laughs> he didn't even wait for me to ask him about this one, all right? It's this one right here, okay? <laughs> and I think it's really different to any to anything. This is very good, but it tastes like a steak. Right, it tastes like a steak. This, you don't know what are you eating. It's very unique. Very unique. Very unique. That's a good wow, point. I agree. Now, for the final, let's see which one is better. Profi, which one is better for you? Kobe beef A5 or Iberico Secreto? Both are really good. Okay. But the secret. Wow! <laughs> the Secreto, everybody. Angel, which one is better for you? All right. If you have, you have to pick one. Go I'm for gonna, it. Bro. I'm gonna say how it is. The Iberico has a lot of flavor, but I'm a steak guy. So I gotta go with the A5. With the Kobe B5. <laughs> so here's the deal, all right? This is amazing. This is for something very, very special. But if you're gonna take one bite of which one is better, for me, the Kobe beef is better, okay? But if you ask me, Guga, which one do you wanna eat as a meal? I will eat this yeah. one here. I agree. Okay? That's how I would describe it. I think the fattiness and the richness of an A5, it makes you want to stop yeah. at a certain point. One bite is good enough. But the Iberico, you can eat the whole thing. I, I think they're both wins. Yeah. yeah, you can't go wrong. Just you really can't go yeah. wrong. Buy both. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, get one of each and make the decision yourself. Exactly. This one is a tough one, everybody. That is how good Iberico Secreto is. I promise you. You will not be disappointed if you give it a try. We agree? I'm totally I mean, agree. We agree. We agree. Thank you. We agree. I, we agree, I, everybody. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Make sure you go check out Profe on his channel. I'm going to put a link on the description down below. If you like barbecue, he makes incredible barbecue. Oh, the uh, Latin American style. Yes? Thank you very much. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.